Hi guys! I know it has been a really long time and I've been terrible at updating you, so I am going to give you the full shebang and it's probably going to take a few minutes, so I'm really sorry that this is going to probably be a long video. Okay, so I today, it is the 10th of November and it's Monday. I am 14 days past ovulation, which is a big deal because uh, my luteal phase has been an issue. It's been really short. It's been somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 days. Uh, last cycle it was 9 days. So it's a big deal that I'm at 10 DPO. And how I did that, if you're wondering, first off is I'm on Vitex. And this is my first month, my first full cycle on Vitex. And I'm also on progesterone this cycle. So I'm taking 200 milligrams of progesterone the gross way every night before bed so um, I'm doing that and so that and with that um, I'm also a little confused so my doctor told me that because it was only 200 milligrams they often will prescribe 400 he did not think that the progesterone should delay my period if he said if it did delay it, it would be delayed by maybe a couple days which was the goal to delay it a couple days but it wouldn't stop it altogether. Well, it appears it may have stopped it because I'm not getting positive pregnancy tests, really. I've had a few a few of those really cheap, the sure predicts that are like 10 HCG levels of 10. I've gotten a couple of really faint lines on those and like one or two WANFOs that have had really faint lines. But I haven't had a positive test that's been like, blazing or that's even been very strong at all. So I was starting to get a little bit worried. He said it would delay and obviously that was the goal, but he did say that it should come if I don't get pregnant, even if I'm on the progesterone. So that was a little confusing. So I decided finally to call this morning and just ask what I do if I, you know, if it doesn't come basically. And what the nurse I talked to said is that she? they like to give it about 20 days after ovulation, so like 35 days or so from your last period, before they kind of do anything when you're, when you're trying something like this. So she said what they want me to do is to wait and keep testing if I want, but to really to wait and test on Friday, which is, what would that be, like the 14th? And if I still get a negative... Friday, she said they'll probably just have me stop using the progesterone because I'm probably not pregnant and the progesterone is probably just suppressing um, my period. But I could also potentially, if I'm if I get a positive or like a faint positive or if things are so weird, she said that they might order a blood test Friday to make sure um, that I'm not pregnant if I feel like I need that. So. Right now, at this moment, I could be pregnant and just not test and not have getting positives yet, which is totally possible. I could have ovulated, not ovulated, but I could have implanted later than I thought, which is plausible. Um, I could also not be pregnant, and I could my progesterone, the progesterone could just be suppressing my next period. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. So that's sort of the short. I guess that's not as long as I thought it would be, but. Um, and that's kind of what's going on with me, in case you were wondering. I know I've been really bad at keeping up with these, so I'll try to do better, especially now that I'm doing things, that things are kind of happening. Um, but yeah, so I guess I will tell you a little bit of what I'm feeling. I physically have definitely had symptoms, and I talked to the nurse today, and she thinks that they sound more like um, estrogen symptoms, which she said... Unfortunately, she said they could be PMS symptoms. I could just be, you know, there could be more because it's been longer since I ovulated. Um, or they could be early pregnancy symptoms. I'm having uh, breast tenderness, definitely feeling some nausea. I've had a few headaches, which she said could be the progesterone. The headache, she said, could be progesterone, but they could also be estrogen. She said it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I've had some cramping, but it's not my, it's not like aunt flow cramping where it feels like things are being pushed or squeezed. It's like stretching, which she says is a good thing. And actually, when I, my first pregnancy, I definitely felt that um, pretty early on that and bubbling, which I haven't really felt. But so, 
so I'm feeling all of those things and um, I guess I just am really hoping and I feel I feel like I really could be pregnant but then I also feel like it's sort of silly if I'm 14 days past ovulation I should be getting a positive pregnancy test so maybe I'm just being overly optimistic so I'm feeling very conflicted and a little bit lost and a little confused so uh, hopefully I will have good news for you guys in a few days but until then baby dust and I love you all <laughs>